Ever get lost in a new city? Frustrating, right? Introductions are like maps for your writing. They guide readers, showing them what to expect and why they should care. Without a good introduction, your brilliant ideas might get lost. Think about your favorite books or articles. What grabbed you from the start? Chances are the author hooked you with a compelling question, a surprising fact, or a relatable anecdote. They made you curious. They made you want to keep reading. But introductions aren't just for entire pieces of writing. Each section needs its own mini introduction. Why? Because readers need those guideposts along the way. They need to know what each section is about and how it connects to the bigger picture. So how do you write introductions that grab readers and don't let go? That's what we're going to explore in this essay. Get ready to master the art of the opener. The art of the opener, why introductions matter. Each section of your writing is like a new scene in a movie. Just as a director meticulously plans each shot to ensure the story flows seamlessly, you too must carefully craft each section to guide your reader through your narrative or argument. Imagine a movie suddenly jumping to a different location and time without any context. Confusing, right? This jarring experience can leave the audience disoriented and disconnected from the story. And that's what it's like for a reader. When a new section appears out of the blue, they lose track of the main point and struggle to understand the connection between ideas. A strong section introduction provides that crucial context. It acts as a bridge, linking the previous section to the new one, ensuring a smooth transition. It tells readers where they are in the story or argument. This orientation helps them follow your train of thought and stay engaged with your writing. It reminds them of the main point and sets the stage for what's to come. Just like a well-prepared stage sets the mood for a play, a well-crafted introduction sets the tone for the section. But how do you make these section introductions engaging? How do you capture your reader's attention right from the start? One effective technique is to start with a question. Questions naturally pique curiosity and invite readers to think. For example, if you're writing about different types of essay introductions, you might ask, ever wonder why some essays grab you from the first sentence while others fall flat? This question immediately engages the reader and sets up the discussion. See what we did there. By, by posing a question, we created a connection with the reader, making them curious about the answer. We posed a relatable question that directly connects to the topic of this section. This technique not only grabs attention, but also makes the reader feel involved in the conversation. Now we need to answer it. Providing a clear and concise answer helps to satisfy the reader's curiosity and reinforces the main point of the section. The answer, of course, lies in the importance of crafting compelling introductions that pique the reader's interest and set the tone for the entire piece. A strong introduction can make all the difference in how your writing is received. Before we move on to the next section, which delves into the art of asking effective questions, take a moment to think about your own experiences with section introductions. Reflect on what has worked for you and what hasn't. What makes a section introduction stand out to you? Is it a thought-provoking question, a surprising fact, or a compelling anecdote? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights could help others improve their writing as well. Section introductions, setting the stage for success. Remember, a well-crafted introduction is the key to engaging your readers and guiding them through your narrative or argument effectively. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They have the unique ability to transform a piece of text from a monologue into a dialogue. They transform passive readers into active participants, making them feel like they are part of the conversation. When you ask a question, you invite readers to pause, reflect, and come up with their own answers. This engagement is crucial for maintaining their interest. This makes them feel more involved in the reading process, as if they are contributing to the narrative. But not all questions are created equal. Some questions can be too simple or too complex, failing to engage the reader effectively. To truly engage your readers, you need to ask the right questions. These questions should be carefully crafted to provoke thought and curiosity. These are questions that are relevant to the topic, thought-provoking, and maybe even a little bit surprising. They should challenge the reader to think deeper. Let's say you're writing about the benefits of exercise. This is a topic that many people are familiar with, but how do you make it engaging? A rather dull question might be, what is exercise? This question is too basic and doesn't spark much interest. 
A more engaging question could be, what if you could improve your mood, boost your energy and even live longer, all by doing one simple thing? This question is intriguing and promises valuable information. Do you see the difference? The second question is more compelling because it hints at the benefits and makes the reader curious. The second question sparks curiosity and hints at the benefits discussed in the section. It makes the reader want to learn more and keeps them engaged. It makes the reader want to learn more. They are now invested in finding out the answer. And the answer, of course, is regular exercise. This not only answers the question but also reinforces the topic. Asking the right questions is like having a conversation with your reader. It creates a back and forth dynamic that keeps the reader engaged. You pose a question, provide the answer, and then invite them to share their own thoughts and experiences. This makes the reading experience more interactive. Speaking of which, we'd love to hear from you. Your insights and experiences can add value to the conversation. What are some of your favorite ways to engage readers with questions in your own writing? Do you have any tips or techniques that have worked well for you? Share your insights in the comments. Your feedback can help others improve their writing and engage their readers more effectively. Asking the right questions. Engaging your reader's mind. Remember, the right question can turn a simple piece of writing into a compelling conversation. Calls to action and surveys keeping readers involved. You've crafted engaging introductions, asked thought-provoking questions, and now it's time to take reader engagement to the next level. This is where the magic happens, where your readers go from passive observers to active participants. How? By incorporating calls to action and surveys. These tools are not just add-ons. They are essential elements that can transform the way your audience interacts with your content. Think about your favorite websites or blogs. What makes them stand out? What keeps you coming back for more? Do they simply present information or do they encourage you to take action? The difference is significant. Maybe they have comment sections, social media sharing buttons, or even quizzes and polls. These features are not just for show, they serve a purpose. Comment sections allow readers to voice their opinions, social media sharing buttons make it easy to spread the word, and quizzes and polls engage readers in a fun and interactive way. These are all examples of calls to action. But why are calls to action so important? They are the bridge between passive consumption and active engagement. Calls to action guide your readers on what to do next. They provide a clear path for engagement. Because they transform passive readers into active participants. This transformation is crucial for building a loyal audience. They give readers a way to engage with your content on a deeper level. Instead of just reading, they can interact. Instead of just consuming information, they can share their thoughts, contribute to the conversation, and become part of a community. This sense of community is what keeps readers coming back. When readers feel like they are part of something bigger, they are more likely to stay engaged and loyal. Let's say you're writing about different writing techniques. You could ask your readers, what's your go-to writing tip that helps you overcome writer's block? This simple question encourages readers to share their own experiences and learn from one another. It creates a dialogue. This dialogue is what makes your content more engaging and valuable. Readers feel heard and appreciated. Surveys are another powerful tool for engaging readers. They allow you to gather valuable feedback, understand your audience better, and even tailor your content to their interests. This level of personalization can significantly boost engagement. For example, you could create a short survey asking readers what topics they'd like to see covered in future blog posts. This not only gives you content ideas, but also makes readers feel involved in the content creation process. For example, you could create a short survey asking readers what topics they'd like to see covered in future blog posts. This simple act of asking for their input can make a big difference. We're curious to know how you prefer to interact with online content. Your preferences matter to us. Do you enjoy leaving comments, participating in surveys, or sharing articles on social media? Each action helps us understand you better. Or perhaps you prefer sharing articles on social media. Let us know your preferred method of engagement. Let us know by taking our quick poll below. Your feedback is invaluable to us. Your feedback will help us create even more engaging and interactive content in the future. Together, we can build a community where everyone feels involved and valued. Conclusion. Your journey to writing mastery.
As we've explored in this essay, mastering the art of writing involves paying attention to every detail, from the overall structure down to the individual sentences. Engaging introductions, both for the entire piece and for each section, are crucial for capturing the reader's attention and guiding them through your ideas. Asking effective questions is another powerful technique for keeping readers engaged. By posing thought-provoking questions,